recently upgraded my NAS, and that means I'm going to help you upgrade your NAS, or we're just going to talk about hard drives and stuff like that, because I decided to switch to the Seagate Ironwolf Pro, um, and I've used a few different Seagate drives. Now, Seagate are not the only drive manufacturers, but in my opinion, if you're going with the really big drives, they're the only drive manufacturer that you should be considering. Now, while they did send me these drives over, this is not sponsored content. In fact, I was about to buy the 14 uh, terabyte versions, and then I was talking to someone at Asus store and I was like, hey, listen, you can tell Seagate right now. I am on Amazon. I'm going to buy the 14 terabyte versions. Do they want to sponsor this content with, with some 14 terabyte drives? And they wrote me back and said, how about some 20? And I was like, yes, I will take the 20 uh, terabyte drive. So this is not an organic upgrade because I didn't buy it myself, but I was going to go to bigger drives. And I'm really glad that I got the 20 terabyte drives. Honestly, I didn't know they were out and I probably would have gone for them anyway. So... Thanks very much, uh, Seagate, for sending the drives over. But now I'm going to talk about why I was going to buy them, even, you know, regardless of whether or not they were going to sponsor this video. First thing we need to talk about is the decision I made between the two different big Seagate drives that are used primarily for NAS and also like data centers and stuff like that. And that's the Ironwolf Pro. And these are more geared towards NAS business use and stuff like that. And then we also have the Exos. Those are the, the big Exos right here. And you'll notice that these have really high specs when it comes to like the mean time between failures. These things last a very long time. You have a five year warranty. And you know, my, my previous Seagate Ironwolf drive that I have in my other NAS, I have three NAS units, and right now they all have Seagates. One has the Ironwolf eight terabyte, one has uh, Exhaust drives, and now this one has the 20 terabyte Seagate Ironwolf Pros. The older ones, they only had a three year warranty. The new Seagate 20 terabyte Ironwolf Pros have the same five year warranty, but they also have a three year warranty that is a full on data recovery. So that's one step up from the Exos when it comes to that. Let's see if you also if you get this model right here, you also have the same mean time between failures. Most people are not going to have to worry about this because you're not going to be punishing your drives like a data center would. Like a lot of people, when you use a NAS, you have to realize that you're not constantly writing and, and rewriting those drives like you would in a data center. In a data center, they're constantly moving files back and forth. There's constantly little things happening. You know, they need to be able to go through a lot. Your NAS drives will still be going through a lot, but for the most part, you put your data there and you leave it alone and then you access it when you need it. You're not constantly accessing the data unless you're working on some project or something like that. You know, with the new drives, their specs are nearly identical. So you can go through the data sheet here and just line up each different thing and make sure that it meets your needs. You know, if you, if you, for some reason you need to go with the enterprise grade drives, you can do that. But there's reasons why you may or may not want to beyond just the specs right here on the sheet. So if you look on Amazon, these prices go up and down all the time. And right now, I just want to make sure that you see that this is the uh, ST2000 N T001. That's what I'm using here in my NAS, as you can see. Those beautiful drives right there. The prices between the two are very similar. Yesterday, this was like $10 cheaper than this one, because I think it was like 40% off or something. So this price seems to fluctuate a little bit. And know that if you see one of these, sometimes you'll see these Seagate Exos drives for a really good, cheap bargain price. Just note that when you see that, they're almost always pulled from some sort of commercial environment and they are going to say refurbished or used 99% of the time, even on Amazon. Sometimes I've seen them that are they're, they're just too cheap and they don't say, you know, used. They don't even say renewed. But when you look in the comments at the bottom, like the reviews and stuff, they'll say that, hey, these drives have been renewed. All right. So let's talk about a couple of other things that separate the Iron Wolf Pro from the Exos. Now, if you have an environment where you can put this in a closet or something like that, the Exos is going to be just fine because they're, they're, they're noisy. But if you're using this somewhere where you, you know, maybe in a closet that's next to your bedroom or you have it, if you want to use the, you know, you can use the Asus locker store as your media unit. You can actually hook up an HDMI to the back and just keep it like in your living room or whatever and use it to watch your media on your screen, on your projector or whatever. Well, the Exos drives are significantly louder. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just how they work. They are just really loud. They click. You can hear them very well. So if noise is an issue, and I can even hear mine right now that I've got some in there. I can hear them churning away through the closet door, but I, you know, if I turn off the NAS unit with the Exos drives, I can barely hear 
the Seagate Iron Wolf Pros. So the Iron Wolf Pros are quite a bit more silent. Now there's one more reason why I like the Iron Wolf uh, Pro hard drives for NAS units, and that is because when you go into your storage manager or on your ASUS Tor or on your other NAS unit, you know, different NAS units have different things, you can go into the App Store. And let me just see what I've got installed right here. There's something called the Iron Wolf Health Management, and this is an app you can install on your NAS. And once you do that, it doesn't install an extra, you know, an extra thing here. It's actually integrated into the NAS. So when you click on your storage manager and then you click on your, your, your drives, there we go. And under each drive, we have our Iron Wolf Health status. You can click and get the details on this. It'll tell you what it's doing. It'll, it'll give you the temperature uh, that it's operating. And then if there are any bad sectors, there are obviously not any bad sectors. And I usually don't see bad sectors for several, several, several years. My other ones lasted five or six years before I saw any bad sectors on the eight terabyte drives. So if you see bad sectors, it'll tell you, hey, you have so many bad sectors, you know, like maybe four or 500 bad sectors, whatever. And then you will be able to replace the drive. Now, if you have your ASUS Tor or your NAS hooked up correctly, you will get email messages all the time saying like, hey, drive number two has some bad sectors and you can come in and check the health. Now, even without the Iron Wolf health management, you still can do some scans and stuff like that. But the Iron Wolf health management is just a deeper level so you can really see what's going on. And we can even schedule some scans and stuff like that and have it doing, I don't know, we don't need daily or whatever. We can do like weekly or monthly scans and just have it scan the drive to make sure everything is good. So that's a really nice way to do it. And then we can register our warranty right from inside here. So all this is stuff that we can do that's above and beyond with the Iron Wolf drives and it allows us to uh, you know get a heads up if anything goes wrong so that we can replace that drive because the way I have this NAS set up is I can fit you know have one drive fail and just hot swap it out put another one in and let it you know initialize and then it'll be totally fine let's talk about the other major reason that I've decided to go with the Seagate drives over some of the competition like Western Digital or something like that. And Western Digital makes fine drives the red drives are good drives if you see them at a good price there's nothing wrong with that but I like the, you know, the health monitoring and that sort of thing. But there's one other thing that I really like, and that is that Seagate has managed to create these huge drives, like the 20 terabyte drive, using just standard technology. There's nine platters inside there, and there's no exotic new technology going on there like you see with the other drives. And I'll, I'll link this Tom's article right here. It's a review of these drives so you can so you can read. Other drives, you need to use some other technology like the energy assisted magnetic recording or something like that. It's not traditional, you know, your, it's not your traditional tracks and platters and, and all that. Kind of, I don't know how these things work. It's not the traditional way that hard drives work. There are new fancy ways for these huge hard drives to work, but Seagate does not do that. It is a standard hard drive. Now, what does that mean? Well, for one, it's tried and true technology, which I like. But number two, it's gonna be faster. Those technologies allow you to have bigger hard drives, but they come with a little bit of a speed hit. With you know the standard technology, you can still get the full speed 7200 RPM drive without any slowdown whatsoever. So that is another one of the big reasons why I've gone with the Seagate hard drives. The last thing I wanna mention here when it comes to speed, uh, and, and power consumption. You're gonna find that the Exos drives and the Seagate Iron Wolf Pros are nearly identical. I think the Exos drive use a tiny bit less energy, like it's an insignificant amount. And, and then the Seagate Iron Wolf Pros are typically a tiny bit faster, but again, for most of us, you won't know unless you're like sitting there scrutinizing the numbers. Like I know some of you love to do. And be like, this one has a nine at the end while this one only has a four. Hmm, they're gonna feel like the same drive. The big difference is the noise on the exhaust. You've got exhaustive noise. Oh God, I'll never do that again. At the end of the day, you can take a look at both. Um, I mean, if the price is the main thing and you don't care about the noise and you don't care about those other features, then maybe the Exos drives are good for you, but really these are mostly for data centers. This is the drive, right here it is, it's beautiful. So that's what I would, I would choose for my NAS. And if I wanted to grab an extra backup hard drive that's huge, that's like an external USB or something like that, I'd get another one of these. These things are, are nice. Hope this has given you like a little bit of an education in how these Iron Wolf Pro drives work, especially the new ones with all, I can't believe that the features are basically the same as the Exos and they're quieter and they have all the extra features. It's like kind of a no brainer for me at this point. So let me know what you think of these drives. Are you using them in, in any of your uh, NAS units or even in your own computer? Are you?
they work just fine as regular hard drives in case you were wondering yes nas drives they'll work totally fine in your regular computer you may not need something this extreme but why not that's what i always do they go right in my computer all right let me know if you have any questions uh, also be sure to check out my new album if you don't know i create chip tunes and like some midi style uh retro tunes for games that don't exist from our childhood so you can check that out the link is in the top of the or the middle of the description somewhere just look for the zweihander link down there here's a little sample of the music to play us out i'll see you next time